Hi, this is Julie with Beautaholic, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about millimeters to inches. So I'm not going to do a project in this video. This is really just purely an informational video um, addressing a question we get quite a bit here at Beautaholic. So as you know, a lot of bead sizes are measured in millimeters. So when you look on our website, it doesn't necessarily list the inch that it comes in, but the millimeter. And it can be a little hard sometimes to conceptualize how big is that in person. So first off, I pulled some beads in some common bead sizes, and I just want to show you them in relation to one, my hand, just so you can kind of see. This here is a three millimeter bead. This is a four millimeter. So I want to pick this up and show you what it looks like on my hand. I do kind of have petite hands, so keep that in mind. This is a six millimeter, an eight millimeter, and a 10 millimeter. And those are your really common sizes that you're going to see a lot. And then I pulled these other fun beads, and they're actually 17 millimeters. I'm going to use them as a demonstration later on. So if you're trying to convert millimeters to inches, or vice versa, a couple different tools are at your disposal. First off, your ruler. Usually it has a side with inches and a side with millimeters. So you can just reference that. So you can see that here, if I turn this one around, it's a little easier. I have got five millimeters right here, which you can see how big that is in relation to an inch. Now in an inch, there are actually 25.4 millimeters. So you can remember that. And if you ever want to do the actual math on a calculator, say you're taking a 10 inch bead and you want to convert it to inches, you would take 10 and then you divide it by 25.4 and that's going to give you how many inches it is. You can also use a caliper, which is going to usually have inches on one side. It might be a little hard to tell on this one with the lighting in here and then millimeters on the other side. So you could put that in there and see how many inches it is. And you'll see that this 10 millimeter bead is not even half an inch. And then my favorite trick though is take something that you have around your house. I have a penny, a nickel, and a quarter. A penny is 19 millimeters. A nickel is 21.21 millimeters, and a quarter is 24.26. So you could almost think of a quarter as one inch, which is really handy to know. If you know a quarter is almost an inch, that helps a lot. So if you've got a four millimeter bead, and you know a penny is 19 millimeters, you can kind of look at that penny, hold it up, and get a better idea of how large four millimeters actually is. And then I said I'd bring these in later. So this is 17 millimeters, a penny is 19 millimeters. So you know it's just a little bit smaller than a penny. So I highly recommend keeping tools like this on hand where you just have them around the house. And then once you've bought some beads, I'd make yourself a little guide. Take one of each size of bead that you commonly use, just go like that, tape them onto a piece of board and just write their millimeter size right next to them. And then you can just have a reference guide for whatever type of bead you're picking out so you can know how big that bead is actually going to be in person. And finally, what the easiest way is to go ahead and figure out uh, the conversion between millimeters and inches is just to do a quick internet search. If you literally type in X millimeter in inches, it's not gonna even give you an equation to go figure it out. It's actually gonna tell you the exact conversion which is very, very handy. So it's like if I type in 12 millimeters in inches, I'm gonna be told it's 0.47 inches, which is a little bit under half an inch. So I hope this helped a little bit to get a better idea of millimeters versus inches, inches versus millimeters, and kind of how to figure that out and how big different beads are.